this and the lands. Last time we left off, uh, you guys have managed to do quite a task and split the party. Now, if you look at the map, you are all, well, two of you, compared to the three of you, are literally half a realm away from each other. Literally, like one, three of you are in Helm City, two of you are in Zoo City, and that is far if you were to go what by. could go normal, wrong? Normal <laughs> route. You guys are so pessimistic. I was just thinking how cool it is we can teleport around now. <laughs> it's, it is awesome. Oh, yeah. But very specific. specific. It's awesome, but very dangerous at the same time. I just thought it was Indeed. worth Indeed. highlighting the how far you've come, because that's also Zoo City is where you basically started this campaign, Close or this season it. two campaign. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is. Wow. wow. Yeah, it's pretty far. <laughs> um, so, with all of you split in such a way, um, we have Thoradin, who has spoken to um, Gel via his blower and managed to get some information from... Um, so Thoradin has managed to get some information from Gel for a cost and um, has information for you all. Talari is shopping for spices in Helm City still. Nadia is scouting for priests, or scouting information for priests, um, and is in... It sounds like she's trying to score a date. <laughs> um, and is um, in the temple of Helm, in Helm City. We have Krusk and Turigertha in the city. It doesn't mean Happy now more. you can't you can't oh, get it wrong. To tell me, it's alright. Official on official terms, I've confirmed on official terms. Yes, um, that's true technically. On official and, legal terms, technically she's still, still that is yet to be changed. We've got change um, yeah. mm. Exactly. Yeah. So Dzelme, apologies. Um is um and Krusk are in a zoo city. They have managed to have Krusk relatively agree that city can stay. And upon hearing that Aragwin, the head of um, the abjuration, school of abjuration magic, is was shaking up from her trip to TMR Heights for reasons that uh, Arg was the same. Ah, she's fine now. Um, which I don't know. It's up to up to uh, Zelda and Crest to see if they want to ask more. It's up to them. So we start this session. Going with Nadia, who are who is in Helm City, in the Temple of Helm, and is looking at different priests that are available in Helm City. So to give a brief outline for everybody, I've given um, Nadia some details mm -hmm. beforehand, just so that. Um, Preparations so the idea made. that Nadia got the, the Discord messages you sent me is very funny. Um, so, so Nadia is aware of some highlights, but just so that um, for for posterity, everyone's awareness. So in Helm City, in the Temple of Helm, there are seven Helm priests, all robed, robed in blue, as is their function. There are five priests robed in brown, um, which in this realm is identified for them being out of city in some way, shape, or form. Um, the gods present of the brown of the brown robe priests is Eldath, Bane, Bashaba, Bashaba, how would you want to pronounce it? Um, Skerit, and Lathanda. So, uh, so um, Eldath is the goddess of peace, usually too good. Bane, the god of tyranny, lawful evil. Bashaba, the goddess of misfortune, chaotic evil. Um, Skerit, the centaur and satyr god of nature, who is true neutral, and Lathander, god of birth and renewal, neutral good. So it is to Nadia. What do you want to do? How do you want to approach or still watch? Um, yeah, she's going to spend a while like watching them, trying to work out kind of what kind of vibe they've got. Uh, mm -hmm. Which you already did. Same. Yeah, um, so I'll give a, a summary again. Um, so yeah. I've um, brought it up yeah. so I can read it. So That's why just for like the, three weeks ago now. Yeah, just for the purposes of uh, 
everybody here. So, the, what's going on around the temple? So, the seven helm priests are predominantly um, walking around the temple, um, making sure that the people's needs are being met um, through through whatever needs the city city folk require. The um, brown rose priests are all holding essentially a seminar kind of thing where they they have their own um gathering around each around a certain a depiction of helm and they're giving like a, a vague talk around how how their god exists how how they come to be how how good they are or bad they are and if you how you picture good or evil um how wonderful they are how how um why why they are worth worshipping if people are on the fence or just an, essentially a way to offer the people of Helm City a way to make sure they're educated and that if they were ever curious about another god then the priesthoods are there to make sure that people are sufficiently um, educated so that they can they can do what they need to do, they can be informed they're not just only given the scripture or the the teachings of Helm at any given time, they've got other options available to them. Um, so yeah, so that's the the rough gist of everything going on. Nadia, it's up to you. What do you want to do? Uh, how many people come to talk to the Bane priest? She's got her eye on him. So for the Bane priest, let's say there's about fifteen people. Um, there was initially. When you first started watching um, the priests in action, um, there was probably around twenty-five people who started off with Bane, or with the the priests of Bane. Um, but some of them have have left. Um, he oh, is man. the they're actively talking to a group. She wants to talk to them, like if they're actively like lecturing, as it were. How long are you willing to wait? Although it depends. Is it more like people come up and then they talk to them and then they bugger off again? So at uh, or this is it stage, more like giving a lecture? Um, at this stage, it is a um, more of a lecture. Okay. Um, but if you're willing to wait for long enough, then they will eventually no longer be giving a lecture, and then will essentially go back to uh, for performing the, a normal priestly duty. When you came around last time in Helm City, in Helm City in the church, where you are, when um, Krask was following around, they were performing that duty. They weren't doing talks at that time. Yeah. He's going to go and listen to a lecture, or whatever it actually is. Cool. So, Just like the... sit at the back of the group and listen to what yeah. the guy is talking about. So, the the rough gist of what um, this priest is saying. So, the priest declares himself as Liam. They are a male presenting human, humanoid, uh, human humanoid. Um, and their talk essentially goes through how a follower of Bane is a winner. Bonafide, they are practically a bona fide god in the making, where people walk people fall. Where, where where the person who follows Bane walks, people fall, and Bane gives no care around if they're falling dead or falling down in benediction. Um, Bane is incredibly intelligent, a vast planner, and a benefit to Bane is that they do not hoard credit. They are happy, they are willing they are able to not have any ego to allow other people to have credit, to, to have success um, oh, when the main... That does not track with my experience of the guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the benefit of Bane having such a lack of ego um, quote unquote, um, means that Bane has actually many allies and that you can always have a friend in Bane. Or there's always a a friend around the corner if you're a follower of Bane, even though you it may not be a a uh, follower of Bane themselves that you deal with. It's still a a friend that you can rely on. Um, do you not you're not alone. It's, it's tend to act, they tend to try and pray to the the lonely while also trying to uh, recruit the brave and the bold at the same time. So that's the so the, the seminar comes to um, an end. As I said, there was about twenty-five or so people to start. There's only ten left 
uh, sorry, 15 left, not including yourself. Um, and the end, they, um, they, um, he, he goes around, goes at least shake, tries to shake at least everybody's hands who, who stayed. And it's like, thank you for coming. Thank you for, for listening. It's been a, it's been a very righteous day today. Thank you. Um, I hope to see you again soon. Um, and last but not least comes to you. Um, ah, well done. Well, thank you for coming. Um, how are you okay there? You're, um, thank you for coming. It's been, it's been a righteous day. Goes to shake your hand. Do you shake it back? Yeah, she probably will. That's good. Well done. Thank you for coming. I will say, so what blessings do people come to, come to you for, for Faye? Because you can work out what people ask help for, i.e. fucking protection. It's a different but service. She's, she's a bit stuck on what people ask Bane for. So, he gives a small smile, and people come to Bane for victory. They, they seek the righteous path to victory, and Bane gives them the power to do so. They, they, they are able to uh, grasp a victory from their own hands, rather than have someone gain victory instead, or have victory thrust upon them, or have... Uh, if you want a victory, surely you're better off going to temple. A military victory, I suppose. Precisely. The, to be, to be perfectly honest, the um, the undead vic- uh, victory against the undead. Bane is a um, avid supporter of those who seek to end the undead, and I, many, many of God are aligned to that same sentiment. But um, Bane gives the best blessings between you and me. You would say that you're biased. It is what not. Makes, uh, what makes it better? It's more powerful. You see, there's. I admit there's an air of uh, theatre, perhaps, but um, it is certainly a fierce radiance that the our clerics, especially, are able to, to throw against the undead. I would thought if you're combating the undead, you would want one of the gods of life. Possibly one of the gods of death. Not necessarily the case. You need a a god that's best at killing things. And with Bane being as powerful as they are, they they give us the power to do the most damage. It's not an isolation, of course. Bane is not an it's, I would, I would, I would never claim Bane to be an absolute. That's the purpose of Bane and his, and his willingness to accept allies is that Bane accepts areas where they may be weaker and takes them under under his own consideration and allows for uh, those those who are greater in areas to thrive. Oh, that at least makes sense. You can't be good at literally everything. Certainly not. There would be no pantheon if the one god was good at everything. Pantheon of one is very boring, as you might imagine. Is there anything I can help you with? I'm just curious. Is that that what you get then, power? In essence. And in actuality? i found that... I've gained a lot as a follower of Bane. That is incredibly vague. I guess you have to f- follow Bane to find out your own path. It's an individual's journey. Do you care to try and earn his favour? Perhaps he may already have an eye on you and wish to seek your favour himself, perhaps, if you are truly great. I don't think I'd call myself truly great. There's still time. 
You can still rise to such a level if you were to follow Bane, perhaps. Perhaps. Seems fairly unlikely. Unwilling to regain his favour? It's a shame. Like I said, I'm just curious. Are there any other curiosities I can help alleviate your mind? I'm sure well, my talk was Well, you've completely helpful. failed to answer the one question I've actually given you so far, so probably not. Some things you do have to find for yourself, I'm afraid. Not all gods have all the answers. We can't all be Ogma. Well, I more meant your own kind of experience. You must have a lot of feelings about it. Your, pre your whole job is to big him up. You've got to have a really solid reason for wanting to do that. Do you not believe my talk? I was merely a commoner when I first met Bane. And he and has he gifted me... About how awesome he is. He has gifted me a strength that while I try to find it in other gods, Bane help me realize it was in myself the whole time and i was able to i was able to seize the power and with seizing the power bane was able to give me more if the power is in you why can't you just give him the finger and leave or were you it's, grateful it's but a step a step to devotion clearly skeptical do you not have such convictions yourself that you are as avid in a pursuit of your own. So, so, um, the wrought in your own strength, perhaps that you could level a tree with your own fist, perhaps, or you could heal, heal a wound with just your feeling. The power is in you for sure, but it takes a god to. To drive it further, to drive it harder, to drive it further than perhaps even you could have imagined, giving you insight to ambition that perhaps you even thought wasn't possible within yourself. I'm not a particularly ambitious person. A pity. I want much. Well, we can't all be terribly ambitious. Somebody has to thought... be ruled upon. Want to rule, want to be ruled upon? Oh, well, somebody still has to, you know, do the hunting and the so forth for you to be big and glorious. It's true. There is always ones that need or born or desire to kneel instead of to rise. It has to be someone's destiny after all. You sure? Are you all right? Well, otherwise you would look pretty silly as ruler of you, yourself and you again. Wouldn't you? That's true. Completely incomprehensible to her. She's just like, what are you on about? What is your what? name? My, I gave my introduction. I am, or shall I again? I am Liam. I have no. been a follower of Bane for a long time. Nice to meet you. May I ask, who do you follow? I don't devote myself to one god. I see. Like you say, they can't all be everything. Why only one? That's fair. But um, you said you weren't you ambitious. Would... Huh? That's fair, but I thought you said you weren't ambitious. Having oh. Seeking the favour to multiple gods is fairly ambitious to me. Not the kind of favour that I presume you get, but I do a lot of things. There'd be absolutely no point seeking the favour of the god of war for crafting something. And no point seeking the favour of the god of crafting for fighting things. You'd ask the people there, I guess. I'm sure they give you a different answer, perhaps. Oh, all, the, all, all of the priests, of all of the gods, will tell me their god is best, because that's the point of being a priest. But nevertheless, their god, as you have said, is not everything. One of them can't do it all. No. And that ultimately is a shame, I believe. You just said one god would be boring. Make your mind up. 
one god on their own would be boring. You can have multiple gods, but perhaps one god in power on their own? Could be interesting. Oh, like one, one of them in charge. And I, we all know who you're going to say that would be. Perhaps. But alas, I think you're partially right. And I guess it'll be one day to the side for us to see, hopefully in a lifetime or two or three. We'll see if any any of these theories come to light. You have satisfied some of my curiosity, so thanks. Well, I'm glad to be of service, Nadia. Have a blessed day. I would say the same to you, but you're a priest. Surely that's, you know, part of the course. Perhaps. Okay. She's going to look at her shop. Is there any other things you wish to... Um... She absolutely does. She wants to call her the Eldath Priest, because she's had sword. That one's likely to be fairly short. And okay. the Helm Priest, to bend their ear about illegal teleport circles. Uh, but I don't want to take up the whole session with That's fine. talking crap, so feel free to like go and ask somebody else and come back to me. Yeah, I was going to. That's good timing. Um, okay, so we'll move on to Talari. Stop in for yo spices. <laughs> Is there anything you're looking out for specifically here? Or any guidance you're looking to get from the marketplace? Um, <clears throat> I mean, I think what she would do is, you know, look for, you know, someone who looks like they know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. um, and try and sort of give, up, like, inform them of the notes that she's made, which was basically a lot of the reactions that she got. Um. Uh, that they got from when they were in the in the house the night before, um, and trying to think of other combinations uh, of foods uh, that she could potentially try. Because um, at the moment she's trying to, she doesn't want to. The reason she's not just making what she's been told to, like you know what she's seen from the tapas bar and and so on, is that she kind of secretly, I guess. Uh, make something that's her own like must say make something that is unique to her mm. so that people would you know when they want that kind of thing they would come to her for it sure are you looking for your speciality basically yeah that's what she's just she's looking to do um sure. which is make where where her where, her, where her where, sorry make a survival check for me please to see how well you can gauge someone's ability in this age, in this area, considering um, the yesterday or the, the last time you spoke to someone in the market, you initially were speaking to someone who was going to give you idea for nightshade as a spicy condiment. That's true, and it is in, and it is a that was a different is, place, wasn't uh, it? That was a different. That was in um, no, yeah, that was one. still here. Is that still here? Okay. Oh yeah, okay. Um, oh yeah, because we've stepped outside. That's right. So this is still so yes. This is yeah, still a was... place of interdimensional. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was why that like, you got such wacky recommendations because like half of them are from the freaking Feywild or something. Mm. Called one of the hells, yeah. All yeah. Right. Yeah, and so they're just like completely inhuman. All right, that is a thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. So you're looking for your specialty, mm -hmm. your signature dish that you can. Potentially make a thousand times or get used to be making a thousand times mm -hmm. and hope people will ask for either more or hope people will always ask you to make the next time. Yeah. 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 There's a few ways you can go about doing that. There's you can go for spice, mm -hmm. go for sweet, go for... Um, Salty. There's 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 a there's a plethora of things that you could try and say. This is your signature. Yeah, I think. What do you feel would be your signature? Well, like I, your 
your, yeah, your, well, the, the your, aim, the, the flavor aim kind of thing. It's like, it's like when you go, whenever you go to the salty, whatever, it's always like it's nice, but it's a little bit salty, <laughs> like for better for worse. Yeah, yeah. Like that's their signature. Like you can, you can't go away from their that signature of them. That that is definitively yeah, yeah. salty, whatever. I think spicy won't 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 be a good one because we've seen that the party generally couldn't handle the spice of Desi's cooking. Granted, well, that was extreme. That wasn't extreme. That was extreme, but that's how she's going to take it. Like, no sure. to spicy food. Um, as you said, salty. Well, if the party wanted saltier food, they could just go to the salty whatever. We've eaten a lot of that. That's not really unique to her. That's not a specialty of her. Sweet could be a good thing. Um, kids like sweets as well, so it could be prove useful later on down the line to have something that was like sweet that she would make. Um. Actually, that would be a good one. Like to to have a dessert, possibly. You know, people have had their meal, have whatever meal that they want, because she's found that everyone's tastes are too difficult for a main meal, too mm-hmm. much pressure for a main meal. But you know, after they've had a main meal, you know, they want to relax, just wind down, chill with a nice dessert, and then obviously, it doesn't matter what you've had beforehand, a dessert will necessarily will go with everything, and everyone can have that. Um. Mm-hmm. So I think that's what she's probably going to aim towards. Probably sure. nothing frozen, because that would be probably quite difficult to maintain, especially when you're out and about. So not into the dimensional house now. So that's... True, but like you wanted, because what you'd probably want to do is like have some packed for the travel. So I'm thinking, so no, you're thinking transportable sweet treats rather than a like um like rather like. Like a brownie that you can cut up rather than yeah like for for example say like a brownie you can cut up rather than a like a straight up um like cake or like a trifle like, yeah like so is, think of like be, like little yeah. like little like you could basically make like a lot of little ones and then you can sort of pile them up mm-hmm. um, afternoon so, tea kind of yeah because that's what she likes you know she likes afternoon tea um mm-hmm. and then she could just make a batch of those so if people like Thorian and Cross want to hoover those up at least she can keep making a bunch of them. Mm. Um, or get the house to make a bunch of them potentially, but obviously the house needs to understand how it's to be how it's going to be made because it pre makes food. Yeah, in theory. So, mm-hmm. um, need to know your intentions. Yeah. So, I haven't actually given this any thought. Literally, I'm making this up on the spot, but I'm thinking. I mean, cookies are always good, I guess, and they don't. Mm. But then they go, yeah, probably cookies. I think cookies like are very good. Like, it's very universal. But then you can't do like a chocolate chip or whatever cookie because everyone does those. So it's figuring out well, what can you put? Uh, it's, this is this is the fantasy realm. I don't, yeah, but I don't, I don't think I don't want to make her the adventure of chocolate chip cookies. I think that might be a bit extreme. Don't forget as well, bag of holding, basically the perfect airtight container. Yeah, that's very. That is also very true. Yeah, so you can't get stale cookies if you're going to be in, no. if they're going to go in a. Uh... That's very true. It's not the perfect Tupperware. No, let's not do that. Uh, no. No. We can have bl- a blood cookies. Yeah. yeah, blood cookies. So I think, I think, uh, I think, I don't want, I, yeah, because I don't want to do this all in one go. Because I think this should be a continuing thing that she's doing. Mm-hmm. I'm happy for the result of this exchange to be cookies, mm-hmm. and then, and then, obviously, continue to figure out her next journey. You know, the step of this is. What in the hell am I going to put in a cookie? Sure. You know? So there's there's also within a cookie there's there's the different um, almost flavor profiles in itself because you've got the spice with like a ginger oh, yeah yeah ginger nut cookie oh, you can put stuff or, in the in the thing itself couldn't you like the, 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 there's that still I think with the result of this roll I think the first cookie batch that you'll like go with. Yes, with the, with the with the flavor with the, the ingredients you'll get, we'll still have hints of spice, right? Or so we'll still go down the spicy uh, route for this batch, considering the result of the your survival roll, mm-hmm. and then depending on whatever the the feedback will be from the the group and and such, we can refi- you can take that feedback and refine as as how how you go. So yeah, yeah. yeah. They, this is the the the, the batch you you will you will be eventually attempted to make will be the spice slightly spicier yeah perhaps or not yeah. not necessarily on the indulgent side. Like, it's hint, the... Hint, well, probably well, I was thinking like, a little bit of like crushed up. Oh, well, either either paprika or uh like crushed up like ground like like chili powder. 
Sure. So chilly and chocolate almost. Yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, like the sweet. Again, she's, yeah. she seems to have this thing in her head at the moment that you have to contrast mm. like sharp flavors. Like, so, you know, you have the sweetness of the cookie, but then the spiciness of something else. So, yeah, we'll do, we'll do, we'll just do like chili powder because that's an easier thing to, to, yeah. to do. So just getting a chili and just like literally like grinding it up and then putting that in the, in the dough itself. Cool. All right. I'm good. I'm cool with that. That sounds fun. Nice. Um, cool. So, um, now we head back to what's well, so that? While you're out getting ingredients for that, Talari, um, we'll head back to the Zelnir and Krusk, who hopefully is back. If not, oh well. Um, uh, no, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. Back. Huzzah! I've been here. Uh, <laughs> um, cool. So. Back in Azuth City for the two of you. Um, so, you have just spoken to Krusk. You have um, Arg. You, sorry, yeah. You have just spoken to Arg, correct. Um, and he has agreed. Um, prepared, agreed in quotes is probably the, the, the loosest term. Um, to looking after City. <laughs> Um, and has confirmed that you got him from Reginald's, um, Reginald's place way back when, um, for reasons. Um, who knows? And we um, have to give four hours' notice before yes. we turn up forcibly. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's press four hours' notice okay. if you ever get the quarantine. Notice. Yeah. Uh, precisely. <laughs> for again, reasons. Um, for for better or for worse, who knows? Um, this, we'll see. Um, so, you've just spoken to, to Arg, and he has um, given. Yeah, he has um, given you like a, 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 brief, a brief like look at. Yeah, uh, Arguin came back. She's a bit shaken um, after a trip to Tiamat Heights, and they said she's all right now. Um, so, if you still want to talk to Arguin, feel free. If not, then do whatever you want. You've, you've got another hour or two, I think, before your slot back to uh, Helm City. I'm I'm just going to give Krosk a knowing look and be like, I think we want to talk to Aragorn. Uh, Yes, yes, let's do it. That's a good idea. Well, her office is um, down, she points down like a book, like a like another like aisle of books. Like, it's down that way, make a right, left, 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 right, left, left, right, and then if you've hit a brick wall, you need to turn around and oh. do the opposite. Fuck! I hit this church. Okay, right, yep, right, right, right. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> After you can, you can, when you're on the way, you can ask someone um, to to guide you. Hundred um, percent does, and sh and they and they will. Um, it's not far off the right, left, left, right um, path if you're trying to follow it. But um, eventually, after about probably about five minutes of walking, um, you do end up at Aragorn's office. It is open, but uh, and you could probably you can hear someone inside, but all the lights are off. Dark vision. I always forget if I've got dark vision or not. You do. Everyone apart from Nadia has dark vision. Okay. So yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. So you can just like, I um, am stuck being the token human with the token <laughs> lack of seeing in the dark. Can I see, Matt? Is are there any lanterns in the room, or is it just yes? There are lanterns. They're just not yeah, there are lanterns specifically. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You've you've been in this room before. This is where uh, this 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 is Aragorn's office. This is where she purified Bahamut's breath. Oh, yeah, Ar Aragorn. Hello. Just knock on the knock on the door. Yeah. Um, at the the sound of knocking, um, two lamps light up, and they light up like behind uh, Aragorn's desk. As she, so, if you imagine you go in, it's like a circular room, uh, mm. and her room's slightly off to the left. Her off, her desk is slightly off to the left. And so you go in, like light, the lights go on to the left of the room, slightly light lit up. Oh, I hate that. Um, okay. <laughs> And she's she's like arms folded, head like on the table. Um Maybe we should poke her. No, don't poke her. Oh, okay. It's so 
ridiculously out of bounds social skills classes. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, plan, plan B. Arwin, you you okay? Uh, 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 oh, oh, uh, oh, hello. Um, uh, is that Tergertha? I crossed it. It's um, I crossed it. Um, um, here oh, too. Oh, oh, how's the sword? Oh, it's uh, it's great actually. Thanks. Yeah, really, really good. Yeah. Oh, actually, oh, it's been uh, it's got a bit of an upgrade. I'm gonna draw it and just like swing it and say, notice anything different? Uh, 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 himself has signed the sword. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Imagine it's like a actual <laughs> signature on it rather than <laughs> Krask. Krask. I'm going to look at Krask and I'm just going to do the uh, draw a hand signal for like message me. Oh, yeah, message. <laughs> Hello. Shut the fuck up. No one's allowed to know we're champions. What the fuck are you doing? I'm going to like cough and like sheath the sword. So we're here on business. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Okay. Um,. It's good, good to hear the sword's okay. Um, oh yes, the sword is great, and I didn't. I'm glad. Yeah, uh, I've had a bit of a transformation as well. My name is no longer Turigata. You can call me uh, Deseldmir or Desi for short. Has now become the thing, apparently. Deseldmir. Well, I'll try to remember that. But thank you for yep. letting me know. Don't, don't worry too much about it. Um, so, Ark said you. Had a bit of a tough time at TM at Heights. What what oh, happened? Oh, you didn't tell him. Oh, what do you have to tell people about that? Well, he oh. just said you weren't particularly happy with how it went. No, I I wasn't. It's a bit of a shame, really. Um, I um, well. The it started out okay. It's, um, to be perfectly honest, um, I after after you um, understandably turned me down um, as it goes, I uh, I found a, um, a a copper dragonborn go who were, um, goes by the name of Star Creek. Don't know if you've heard of him. Um, I feel like we have before, like really, really long ago. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. He's, he's, he kept saying how he's like a champion in some way, shape, or form, but I uh, don't know. He, I didn't have to pay him too much, which is fine. Um, we, um, yeah, we uh, we took our time getting over to uh, Tiamat Heights. Um, I actually spent a week in Ogma Lake because um, you know, God knowledge and a whole whole library, like bigger library than here. Um, Full of information. I was uh, decided to take a little bit of a uh, um, bit of time looking at Tiamat, you know. And um, so yeah, got to got to um, got to eventually got to Tiamat Heights, you know. Um, the now, if, have you ever been to Tiamat Heights? Just uh, no, I can't say no. that I have. Krask, you ever been to Tiamat Heights? I mean, I'd love to visit, but I've not been. Um, it's, I mean, it's an impressive city because um, it the, the the part of the city is in the name really is that um, it is built on a huge hill. It's it's the so for some reason it's well not for some reason it's a very specific reason. It's designed so that you can be high enough to see over the walls of the wastes. Because um, right. you know, um, people have are gluttons for for seeing hordes of undead for some reason. Um, but the um, but yeah, so the I well, so we get there and there's this huge storm, like huge, like I don't think I've seen something so big, and you can you can just about just just about to see this little port city that's right smack smack bang in the middle of of the wastes 
and I could feel the storm brewing and there's something in me felt the storm wasn't right. So I assessed my options and I, to be perfectly honest, I wished it away and it went away for, for a day and the, it was, it took a toll on me. I, it, it was tough to do, to do a wish like that. It took a lot out of me, but wait, wait, what, what, what do you mean? You, you wished it away that I, right. So, so you can just uh, wish stuff away. It's, it's, it's dangerous, right? It's as, 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 as a wizard to it's, it's probably best known as a breaking case of emergency. You know, like there's the rebound on such a wish on a wish could be anything from just a like hangover to like who knows, like like worst case scenario, be like you can't ever cast magic again. So you were that uncomfortable with this storm that you used breaking case of emergency. Yeah, like I'm telling you, standing on the top of that hill at TMI Heights. I swore it could have, it could, it could have ended the city, and guess what? The the second day, I was I was shaken, but I had to do it. The storm came again, and I had to do it. I, I had to cast I, I cast wish to get wish again. This time, I felt I had a tooth on my shoulder, and he helped me through it. I must admit, like, but he warned me. You warned me that doing it again, I may never cast it again, cast wish again, or may even not be able to cast such a powerful spell full stop again. But guess what? The the third day came and the storm came and Zeus was right. I I just couldn't. I tried the wish and it struck back. Lightning hit me and. I was just out. I woke up a week later, back here, and you know, Ark said he um, looked around for a few days in TMO Heights, and he didn't find anything. So I guess that's okay. But you know, just took me a couple of weeks to to get back to normal. So are you um are you, are you back to normal? Did you lose magic or are you Well, I've from what I've dared to attempt I've been fine. But I'm not it's gonna probably take me a little while longer to, to work my way up back to the top, you know? Yeah, of course. You should take your time. It uh, sounds like it was a lot. This it was tough. You know? What what happened to this Star Creek? I don't know. Um, Ark Ark paid him. He, um, Star Creek was true to his contract, and um, I've not seen him since. To be perfectly honest. Hmm. And I guess um, you have no idea if this storm came back. Oh, that's it. He's gone. I tried, but it's gone. Yeah, of course. You did your best. A storm. It must have been the gods wanted it that way, you know. You only scream at the only scream at the sky so much before it shouts back, and unfortunately, at that moment, I just didn't have what it took to shout back harder. I'm gonna come over and just because she was on her desk, right? I'm going to come over and just put a hand on her shoulder and just say, look, you stayed that city for three days. People may have evacuated. People may have had a chance to leave. You may have saved lives. You've done more than one person versus nature should ever have to do. I wouldn't look so down on yourself. I'd just focus yeah. on recovering. I keep telling myself that, but you know, I'm the head of abjuration. That's that's my job. Like, I'm the pinnacle of protection. But you know, 
How good can Magicka be? You may be the pinnacle of protection, but at the end of the day, you're immortal. Yeah. As am I, as am Krask, as is most people. We can only do what we can do. Yeah. Ain't it shit. I think it's probably shit for a reason. If too many people had godlike powers, it would just uh, be chaos. Bad enough as it is in some cases. That's what the gods tell us, though, right? Mistress said, no, no, no. Can't go any higher than nine. What about ten? What about eleven? No. I bet if I had access to eleven, maybe even twelve, could have turned that storm around for good. But I don't know what you're talking about because I'm not very good with the whole magic thing, but um, it sounds like 11 is higher than 9, based on what you're saying, so maybe, but again, if you had that kind of power, then so should, some, should someone else, and if someone else wanted that city destroyed while you wanted to defend it, then what are you going to end up in? Just another stalemate. I would have taken a stalemate, but I lost. You know, just don't lick your wounds too long, because you're good at what you do, and people need you. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Just before we go, and I know it's a touchy subject of that kind of regard. Was there any definition to the storm? The color of the lightning any different than anything else you've seen? Did it look overly unnatural? It was big. It felt felt like there was anger behind that thing. You mm -hmm. know, like I've I've seen a thunderstorm, but pff, that had I don't know two. Maybe three gods behind it for some reason. It's big. Mm. Like, I'm uh, just like uh, patting her on the shoulder. We can only ever do our best and use what we can to keep the gods in check. Yeah. Shame it will take 15 years to swap out those one day. No, 20 years. If there was ever a way to accelerate the system, be nice to know it. You mean both? Sorry for your struggles, and it's it's good to see you, at the very least. Uh, actually, Kristen's has got a question. Sounds Please, I would happily divert away from this really, really depressing conversation, because uh, I feel like I'm making it worse, if all, in all honesty, so I'm about, just going to take a step back. Kind of about magic, I hope it's not a touchy subject. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, since we're on the topic... <laughs> this, it's uh, still my job, yes. Thank you. <laughs> um, this, uh, this wish spell that you said is, um, you know, breaking case of emergencies, what... what what, what kind of constitutes an emergency? Well, consider your options. Mm -hmm. If you think you're comfortable enough to, to cast it, well, have first of all, have the ability to cast it, you know. That's the stage one of all things. But think of it's being such a dire situation that you're willing to risk your... Um, your very livelihood, your very ability to cast it and cast it knowing that you may never be able to cast it again or cast any magic again mm. or maybe even die because of it. That's the kind of emergency you have to be in. If At least I for that. Hypothetically, he came to say you and said there's a really big issue we could really do with a wish spell. If it was serious enough, is that something you would consider? I mean, obviously, you know, it wouldn't be some kind of trivial matter. Look, I'm pretty sure I can't cast that thing ever again. Okay. 
I don't even tempt anything higher than a fireball. Mm. You know? I don't even know if you get any higher than that. Okay. If you do get that level yourself, I wish you all the luck in the world. Okay. But it is, by any means, not easy. Mm. Oh, no. I'm, I'm sure, yeah. It's, it seems like it's taken its toll on you. Yeah. But, you know, gave him two days, so as you're right, Desi. Hopefully, that helped something. You just you never know. I think just a, a sort of a knowing silence and a nod, and probably begin to leave. Just going to grab Krusk by the arm as we as we go back, kind of like a little uh, tuck round. And just get slightly closer to his ear. Just go, I think that's possibly Thoradin's fault. And if it is, you don't you say a fucking word. We're going to cut it here first. And then we can discuss it later. Okay. Do you, do you think we should tell Thoradin? I don't know if maybe it's going to help or hinder any situation with Thoradin right now. I mean, what if he has another dream about a different storm? I think he should know. <laughs> I hope, if anything, the words I last gave Thoradin will give him reason not to do anything stupid and shitty. <laughs> that wish spell sounded uh, like something, didn't it? Yeah, you got to promise me, if you're going to do any stupid shit, you're going to think about it first, okay? <laughs> oh, I'm nowhere near powerful enough, unfortunately, to cast wish. Uh, I don't fucking know. All you casters are magic pulling things. I, I don't get it. <laughs> Is there anything else you guys wish to do in Azuth City? Uh, nothing for me. Um... Let me just check if I have enough money. Just really, really quick. Just really, really quick. I am a little tempted just to see if I can find a ring of animal communication or whatever the hell it's called. Ooh, okay. Ring of... Was it animal companion or something, is it? Yeah, some animal influence. Animal friendship. No. Ring oh, no. Of animal, ring, animal influence. Ring of animal influence, yeah. That's the one... So as a benefit, you gain the animal spell. So it's rare. And uh, no rare. achievement. I may not be able to afford it, but I'm just. I just want to see if one exists. <laughs> of course, things. Of course, things exist. Um, so a ring of animal influence is a grand price. Now this is a price I noted down a long time ago. Uh, is a price of twenty five thousand gold. I'm just going to look at it and just be like, Hey, Krask, I know you have the whole bond thing with them, Suti, and, you know, I felt that bond, too, in, in the last communication with them, but, um, you know, you could literally, with that, just have a full conversation with Suti, common to common. I mean, well, like we already talk. <laughs> um, I would get this if... Um... I get city back from Arg, but I just yeah. I just want to put that out there. You know, no, maybe no, something I, I... to save up for, right? That is true. Um, I think I'm a bit low on funds at the moment. Actually, I have I have. Oh, I'm probably almost broke. I don't know. I don't really I have, count uh, my money. I don't I care. Three hundred gold much. left on me. Oh, I have like six hundred. Oh wow. Okay, I think I might be the poorest person <laughs> in the JC <laughs> right now. Well, you just keep spending. Don't worry. I'll get your next meal. Oh wait, we eat. It. I don't know. Thank you. I eat a lot, so um, you might regret that. But yeah, I I really don't care. Also, I was hoping to pay for music lessons at some point, so I might need the money for that. M music lessons? Why are you paying for music lessons? I take out Luke's flute and I start to play. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's like do 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 do. <laughs> very basic, like Frere Jacques kind of like <laughs> level. So yeah, how far away is the teleportation circle? Um, oh, it's so not I'm far, glad you asked. The trader actually taught me for a bit when we were escorting him, if you remember. Oh. And, uh, he just taught me the basics. So yeah, I was hoping to get like a proper teacher. If I was still here, I would have asked him to tell me, but... I'm sure that there is a proper teacher wherever we end up, and perhaps you should just put the flute away until we deal <laughs> with all of our business with Bane. 
so there's just no no distractions right because you don't want to be distracted yeah second priority yeah, um, yeah. well while, while we're here uh is it worth this is like a city of wizards isn't it mm-hmm. is it worth asking about um Elarius? if anyone's seen him or knows what he's up to Elosius. Elosius. yeah <laughs> Just can't yep, quite okay. forget that he did promise to kill me, but he seems to be laying low. So I'm just not sure if he's like plotting or if he's given up. Yeah, maybe we could hire someone for a scrying spell or something, right? Yeah, That's yeah. how those things work. Yeah. Okay, quick check. Quick check. Yeah, just a quick check, and then we can uh, head back. Sure. So, speaking of hiring, um, for a s- half hour supervised use of the Ring of Animal Influence um, would cost you around 400 gold. Ooh, I'm not too far off then. So I could definitely save up for that. No, I don't want to. No. no. Who do you want to talk to, the Animal Ring? I was just thinking about having a good old discussion with City about who's been taking over and all that kind of thing, but hey, no. Nope. No harsh interrogations of City. No, nope. no. Nope. I know who I'm with. Nope. Not even going to bring it up. <laughs> right. Uh, but yeah, just want to... Okay, we'll just look for someone to maybe yeah. hire for a quick scrying spell. Um, but while we're hire walking around and, and looking, I'm just going to quick like lean over to Cross again and just say, Hey, um, I haven't really got to mention it to anyone else, but th- what did you get for your gift from Bahamut? Because he gave me a really fucking cool ring. He gave you a ring. Oh, he yeah. Didn't, he didn't give me a ring. Um, oh, he, he didn't give you a ring. He didn't give me a ring. I don't think he did. <laughs> no, he. Uh, he. Oh no, no, he didn't give me a ring. <laughs> um, he gave. That was very me... confusing, Krask. It's all, it only happened a few days ago. Are you okay? <laughs> well, it was a ring. Ring to <laughs> in your in your thing. Oh, I I requested this ring, didn't I? Sorry, I thought I bought it. The ring of spell. That one. No. no. What? What ring? The, the ring legendary ring one. The ring of the Sentinel. You've got it on your character sheet. It's there. Oh, it's on my character sheet. Sorry, I was checking my uh, I was checking my notepad, and it, it wasn't in there. My bad. My bad. So would it be, <laughs> Hass? Uh, I try. You know, I try. <laughs> no, I forgot. I forgot. Matt's doing the uh, the very fancy. Uh, actually, in the game <laughs> on the character sheet now. I usually keep my stuff in notepad. Yes. Sorry. He gave me a ring. <laughs> um. So uh, if somebody suffers like a like a grievous blow, I can kind of shield them from the uh, from the blow. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, and he he signs my sword, so now I can attack people with the sword without them attacking me first. Yeah, about that. Okay, you really need to not just be throwing your sword out at people. Going, hey, look, the god Bahamut signed my sword. Signed it's really not conducive to us keeping a low profile. <laughs> I want people to know who that Bahamut chose. Krask, Krask, look at me, look at me. Bahamut himself said, don't go around shouting that you're a champion, okay? So here's the deal. You're going to not do that ever again. <laughs> and um, maybe just try to remember that fact as okay. we carry on going on with our very covert mission you think to try to cool? save the fucking world. You think How it's about cool, that? Though, yes, it's it's really fucking cool. Like, okay. if you ever have a house of your own and you have a room, you should definitely hang it on the wall. Or in our house, just have like a little podium or something because it's it's awesome. It's really awesome. Is, you're full of good ideas. We should have more chats like this. <laughs> That's a great idea. I'm just saying, you know, you present <laughs> present it well. If anything happens to you, Desi, I will use the ring to save you first. I'm not going to need it. I don't think. I just want you to know. <laughs> and I'm going to flash my ring a little bit. Ooh, you got your own ring. What does your ring do? Or is this is this what lets you do all your cool new dragon stuff? No, like? no, 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 no. So, um... I can duplicate myself. Oh. Oh. Can you, yeah. can you do it now? I'm not going to do it in the fucking street, class. Come on. How does the duplicate work? Can you... Does it? Is it like... Is it like you, or does it just like look like you? Does it can it talk? I don't know. It's it's like a it's like a fake me. It's uh, a fake me. But but uh, I can you know 
move it around mm. and uh, I can use it to, you know, distract enemies and, and all that kind of thing. Very cool. Very you know, it's 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 pretty cool, and I have a couple of ideas of how I want to use it, and it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Nice. Very cool. Well, can I hold out my uh, my ring finger for like a fist bump? Grudgingly, <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. Okay. I'm so tempted to Thundercrap to celebrate it, but I, I won't. Don't you dare. <laughs> I had, um, was it former Turgy for a bit, but I haven't got it anymore. But I would have used that if I did. <laughs> I will kill you myself. <laughs> okay, I think I'll I will time. make you my first kill. I will do it. <laughs> I think our time slot's coming up. <laughs> Good. Oh, wait, sorry. We're going to procure... Quick Scryer. Yeah, Quick scry, and then back back home so a scryer um so they um do you have a likeness or a possession or i know what he looks like i, I could try drawing it with that kind of thing <laughs> so, so for scrying so th 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 there's two things you could do you could probably buy a scroll of sc of the scrying spell so you could do it yourself because okay. I'm pretty sure, yeah, you're a source. sorcerer. Uh, <laughs> Bard, cleric, druid, warlock, wizard. Grind. And then some, some paladins. So Basically, you cross, you had a better chance of casting it when you were a paladin. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fault. Okay. Um, I think you have to be a watcher's paladin to get scrolled. Yeah, or a vengeance. Yeah. Okay, I'll just have to. I could do it. Cross, good. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if, if they. If, if said scryer has the ability to like look in my mind to pull the image out, I'll like let him do that. I'll just be able to just pull, pull the pull the memory out. Well, I'll just let random wizard drum it around in your memory. Well, I was <laughs> just about to say, cross can't you do wizards, like it's just like a shady back alley. <laughs> cross, can't you do some kind of like illusion to show what Alosius looks like? Let me think. Hmm. <laughs> While I look at my character sheet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, no. As he as he goes into that, I just go start like pilfering through my pack. So, yeah. And so basically, they they give they give you a spiel of warnings first. So, so the fact that I haven't sorry, mate, I'm not I've never heard of this Alosius dude. I'm afraid. So the, whenever I cast crying on someone, if I know if, if I've met them, then great. If if they're my friend, even better. But if you're just going to tell me about them, then they're going to have all sorts of benefits. To that. This might not even work, you know? Do I get or... a refund? No! <laughs> okay. What are you talking about? Uh, okay, how does this help? Likeness or picture? Possession or garment? I definitely don't have any of his... No, we haven't looted anything off him, have we? Oh, mm, have no, I don't think we've technically killed him, right? Because he no, just got taken away. Uh, that... That was John the Necromancer. Yeah, yeah, so I don't think we've, no, I don't think we've got we've, anything. We've never killed him. No. I'm trying to remember, though, we had his spell book. We did have him in custody for a bit, so did we take anything off him then? I, I don't think I've got anything. We we had his spell book, but I feel like we gave it into um, evidence. Oh, yeah, that sounds, yeah. Yeah. No, sorry, I don't have anything. I can draw you a picture. Okay. I think that's fair to say. So, I, basically, what you're saying is, chances are it's probably not going to work. It's a risk, you know. I could, I could get lucky, but it's, you know, it's a risk. Just so you know, that this is before I tell you any costs. Okay, okay. What are the costs of what? For me to do that, um, it'll take it'll take me about ten minutes to what to do, um, and then you get ten minutes. I get I get ten minutes on the person if I'm lucky if, if I can get him. Um, so there'll be 20 minutes of my time plus the actual effort to cast a spell. Um, plus, I mean, I need, I need to recruit some of my costs and my materials, you know. It's just the way things are. Um, so it's about 100 gold total. Yep, I'm happy to do that. I'll pay him. I've got it. Oh, thank you. Much appreciated. Well, before you pay me, just so you know, it might not work. Yep, no, I agree. That's fine. Just... I 
I, 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 I uh, like, don't know how to like, use for, 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 like, legit, for, you know, they might have a, like, a, an amulet of proof against detection on occasion. Yep, you know? yep, don't worry. I'm just, uh, we, just, we just want you strong. I won't hold it against you if it doesn't work. Yeah, okay. if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I will work. give you a good review. Like, no refunds. No refunds, that's fine. Okay. You take the 100 gold, that's it. <laughs> also, Krask, what do you mean no review? How are you going to review them? What are you going to do? You know, I'm quite well known. <laughs> Krask. No, I'm just saying, you know, if somebody comes and says, oh, I need a scry, I'll be like, well, I know someone in uh, Azu City. He, like, sets the stuff out. He, like, looks at the drawing um, of, of Aloysius. Um, that you make um, based off the description you give. He takes his ten minutes to like he has a, like a really ornate staff that he uses to um, to cast a spell through, um, and like daubs holy water all over him, and spends like ten minutes like focusing, and palms are out, and he just says, "Shit, I got it." Oh. Wow. He's he's in, he's walking. He's walking down a path. Uh looks like he's walking south. Um Can you tell where he is roughly? He he's it's so I can tell he's walking the the there's there's no snow on the ground. Um, is it is it a city? No, it's the wilderness. He's is he, with, is he with anyone or is he alone? I don't know. He's alone. Okay. I can. No, I can. I can hear it. No. I can. I can hear a storm, rain, rainfall coming. It's. Yes, he's heading. He's heading south. It's um, the ground is wet, and it looks like there's another storm coming. Um, and yes, yeah, um, he's in the wilderness. Is I hear. Oh, I hear a lot of people talking now. Um, it looks like travelers heading. In the opposite direction, they man, this guy is an ass, right? <laughs> yeah, um, quick. Man, Can you tell anything about the travelers? Are they wearing you, you legit stole that guy's water pole, man? Oh, wow, that's damn, this guy's rude. Fucking low um, seals. <laughs> I agree. Uh, um, did he kill the guy by any chance? But no, uh, 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 it, he just snagged it off of the back of the cart, the guy he was walking past. Um, they, wait, these, um, it sounds like they're coming from a city recently. The, the city seems to be, I think it might be Bane City. Ooh. Oh, look at that guy! God, <laughs> does he look? Can you tell like his emotional state? Does he look happy yeah. with himself? He ends the the scry. Um, hard to tell if he was happy with himself. He, I think he'd been walking for a while. Okay, I think. Um, if it, I mean, where where did you see him last? Uh, we haven't quite, seen him for a while. Quite a way away. Quite a way away. Last place we saw him was um, Mistress City. Oh, I think. Okay. Have we not seen him in Merkel when we went to No, we, we saw him in Merkel. Yeah. And then I think he was with the others in Mistress City as well. Oh, the you other went priests. Back in yeah, yeah. Okay. You're correct. Um, man, Mistress City? Wow, that's a. How long ago was that? Like, that's a long ass walk. Couple of weeks or a week. He's quite a powerful um, spellcaster, though. I wouldn't be surprised if he could teleport. Probably. Right. Oh, so you reckon he 
He probably knows the circle near there. Maybe. Although you said you've been walking for a while in your scry, so... Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it's a city... What is it? Um, the city around, so... What's it, the closest to Bane... Close to the Bane city is what, either Eldath or um, Helm or, I don't know, Scarret or Ogma. Oh no, he's heading south, so maybe it looks like Scarret, perhaps. I don't know. Um, we'll give you a few places. If you were an evil wizard near Bane city, there's nothing <laughs> you particularly want to go after, is there? Cross, what the fuck? No, I'm just saying, I'm not saying you are an evil wizard. I'm just saying if you were an evil wizard. Well, Bane, Bane's pretty evil in itself, you know? No, um, wind ruins, creepy forest hideouts, anything like that. Don't know. Okay. Yeah. It's not my, not my part of the world, mate. I really don't fucking like this. I don't like this at all. Hmm. But, uh, yeah. Well, thank you, sir. It was uh, a very good service. Well, no worries. Uh, best of luck to you, I guess. And thank you. Have fun. You tracking uh, him down, are you? Yeah, after, after a bounty. Uh, actually, we were hoping to avoid him. but um, ah. Personal like, experience. Yeah. Fair enough. Hmm. Well, uh, enjoy. Thank you. And, uh... See you around for another scribe, perhaps. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, maybe. I... You did a pretty good job. What's your name? I'm Jacob. Nice to meet you. Jacob. Nice to meet you, too. Highly recommend it, Jacob. Yeah, the, uh... if, if anyone ever asks. Thanks. I'm a, a divination wizard in training. So you did a great what, job. What else can you do? The, the divination stuff. You know. Crust. 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 Oh, I'm just saying, you know, he's, he's done a good job here. There's something yep. else we can yep. do. Crust. I think, I think we've taken this man's time. Well, <laughs> I was just thinking divination spells. Can you tell the future in any way? Probably nothing useful. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, sorry, one more question for him. Because we floated this idea and then we never got round to it. Uh, if I wanted a way to communicate with lots of people telepathically and have them communicate back to me easily, uh huh, maybe like an earpiece, something like that. Do you, do you know, is, there anything, is there anything like that that you <laughs> could sell or help with? Uh, well, there's the um, there's a telepathic bond spell. Mm -hmm. Um. That's not permanent, I guess, is it? Not really. Uh, well, it's um, takes an hour off my head. Uh, okay. Yeah, it lasts lasts for about an hour, but you can be once you need to be together close enough for an hour, and then at, at the casting, and then you could be wherever you want during the hour. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not permanent. Okay. But um, interesting. I've not heard of anything that does that function as a magic item, personally. But I mean, who knows? Maybe the uh, the dwarfs in uh, Moradin City might have figured something like that out. Because uh, you know, um, being down work working the mines, they uh, it's quite important to be able to communicate effectively. Very true. Makes sense. Well, thank you. I think yeah, as my friend said, I think we've taken up enough of your time. But yeah. I will give you a good recommendation to the other elves. Thanks, I guess. Uh, well, I'll see you around. Um, cool. Is there anything else you guys wish to do? Nope. No, I think that's it. Cool. <laughs> so, you guys meet your appointment and get summarily teleported or teleport yourselves back to Helm City. Where you guys can meet up with a wandering... Thoradin, who is looking for you guys? Thoradin! Oh my god, I've been walking around this goddamn city. Couldn't find anyone. Oh, right. <laughs> it's been a while. 
<laughs> yeah, it's well, been, how uh, was the Zeus? Good morning. Uh, yeah, it was good. Well, actually, we have some bad news for you. Um, you've permanently crippled a wizard. I oh, okay. Maybe, maybe not. Wait, wait, what? Apparently, oh, no, I did. No. I did no such thing, Cross. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why would I do that? <laughs> I don't know what this guy's on about. No, oh, I, I, fuck. I, I, <laughs> let's, let's get somewhere pro if you're going to drop a bomb like that, <laughs> Gross okay. case. I've got plenty of bombs to drop. Right, uh, yeah. No, I think um, I think in all honesty, mission focus, thought in your information is way look, looking cross dead in the eye. Way <laughs> more important than ours. Cross eye nods quickly. Yes, yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go find the others. Then we can all discuss. Yeah. You can forget about the wizard. She was fine, really. Just, just a little. Cross, little. shut the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, team, huddle, assemble. You know where the other two are? You said you've been wondering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm guessing they told. I'm guessing they told me. I've, you you I can can't. find Talari, um, around the marketplace together, um. I can't remember if Nadia said where she was going to Yeah, it's going to be a harder one to find. She did. All likely, maybe she told one of one or two of you rather than the group as a whole. I think knows where she is. I don't know, I thought she just walked off. <laughs> it's I completely up told... to you. I mean, I, I can only cast a message 100 feet, so <laughs> I can't find her. Yeah. I think hmm. she told Talari where she was, just in case the Bacon Cave Priest tries to like stick a sack over her head and... <laughs> I do Fair really enough. like the idea, though, of Cross just pointing in a different direction, going, Nadia, 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 Nadia. You, you pull a piece of string, isn't it? It's, the, copper, the... it's copper wire, I think, so you've got copper wire and you're just going, Nadia, 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 yeah, I think Talari knows which bit. Talari also knows that she was intending to like stay there for a long time. Mm. So yeah, if she's not back yet, she, you know, she, she went to she do. She hasn't it. popped up yet. She's probably not done either yeah. that, or she's been kidnapped by the priestly bay. Go yeah. away, really. I don't think. Probably close know. to midday. Nice. Nice. Is that the time? Wow. Yeah, Give she... her a few more hours. I mean, she is talking to a bane priest, and you know. Bane is certainly aware of our exploit if, if Nadia has given away who she is. Or well, she may not even need to. Uh, <laughs> not exactly. If we all turn there. up, they'll probably definitely know who we are if they don't already. <laughs> Quite possibly. But if she is in some kind of trouble, she has no way to inform us of it. Maybe we should go. <laughs> Just in case. I mean, maybe if only one of us goes in, maybe. Maybe somebody who can telepa you know, communicate over a long distance magically. Yeah. Is the least stealthy person. Well, he doesn't assuming. need to be. He oh, you're not there. Well, I'll, I'll I mean, it, well, it, 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 not cross, there. <laughs> cross, you go in and you shout for danger. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just say we're in this direction of, you know, from basically in front of the front door. So if you need to cast your message, you just yeah. point in the direction of the front door. We should be within whatever your range of the spell is. If so not, if well. If something you, really you bad happens, there. I'll summon Tamaran, and then you guys come. That in. seems a bit okay, extreme. No, 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 <laughs> You're gonna no. take down a building. This would be if it's like a really bad situation. Krask, if something really bad happens, you message us. Get the fuck in here. That's that's what you do. Do not summon Tamaran. You leave Tamaran out of this because we are in a city with people and laws and guards. Let's not do that, okay? Okay. Only as a plan B. Got it. Uh, and now who's going to crib wizards? <laughs> maybe just skip that back to like plan D. Okay, or plan maybe D. E. Okay. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. They're not wizards, they're just priests. Or priests. I don't know why we're talking about crippling wizards, but. Yes. <laughs> no, don't, don't oh, no, 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 she, she, she was okay. Oh, it could have been, been anything. It could have been anything. Uh, I don't know. Get the what? fuck in there. We don't know what's happened to Nadia. <laughs> Go. Okay, yeah, yeah, focus. <laughs> I'm going to go to the church and uh, try and find Nadia. Cool. So, Nadia, you are speaking to an Eldath priest. So we'll do that first before Krusk summarily comes in and... Turns up in the world's least stealthy manner, yeah. Uh, turns up, you know. Cool. So, you have sought out the 
ear of the elder priest. Her name is Persephone, and she is a minotaur. They were um, talking. They they finished their lecture just as all the as all the other priests had, and she was currently just at the time speaking to a helm priest, just idly chit chatting about like, oh, when is the next time we have to like do another le- like lecture, basically. When about... do I have to write my text thingy? <laughs> yeah, is 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 what you can overhear basically Pretty when you come up to, come up behind them. Um, so yeah. The, the priest is yours. You'll probably initially do that awkward thing you do when two people are having a conversation and you don't want to interrupt them. The helm priest um, notices you. You point. He does the me or them like gesture. Uh, technically, both of you. Um, put her first, probably. Oh, they. They just, I'll leave you both to it then. We'll um, probably go about a couple hours and they'll wander off to, to go somewhere else while they're leaving yourself with the Eldath priest. This minotaur um, probably stands at around six and a half feet, so Could not that much taller. Here, no. I, was, I always imagine minotaurs as like seven or eight foot. No, I don't think they're that tall. Um, Maybe with the horns, it feels like that big. Oh, yeah, perhaps. true, true. But right. they're eye, eye level. level. Yeah. How may I help? Eldath is a goddess of peace, right? But that is true. That is correct. Trying to make things peaceful, or just peace when it appears? For Eldath, it's both. To. Do... Peace, peace is for, well. For Eldath, peace is the, the status quo. There, the to, to for war is the abnormality, and Eldath in what she controls is very peaceful. She. I've never heard of an account of Eldath in conflict with direct conflict with anybody. Okay. They that answers both my questions. An, an eternal pacifist, as as the as the words may go. I think that answers both my questions. So she would try to make things peaceful, but peace is all she's concerned about. Yeah, and she will. Try and have Peach reached wherever she can, if possible. And if a peaceful situation is causing suffering, what then? It's not peace if there's suffering. There's no conflict. People are that's, fighting. That's not peace though so su- su- suffering is 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 not peace and so, so there is no peace to have peace you must be content to an extent perhaps surely this brings her into conflict with people who would inflict suffering if she's trying to make sure that doesn't happen they're trying to make sure it does that is the struggle of the eternal wheel. That doesn't answer the question, though. It's... Of, of course it brings things into conflict, yes. It's, it's... But you just it's, told it's... me she doesn't get into conflict with people. She doesn't, but her desires are in conflict with others. Oh, I see. So then what does she do about them? Just sit there and feel bad? She seeks to bring peace. So she sends peace. She brings... Send the 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 the, 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 the... the more obvious example is rage, anger. 
the the, the classic uh, mm -hmm. of 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 the um, emotions. Elder, where someone is has has a willingness in their heart that they can become peaceful. Our death will try and bring peace to them so that their rage isn't so rageful, their anger isn't so full. They subside their emotions to a level of peace, a level of calm. The there there is a world of good that can be done at El Death Seeks that does not involve raising a sword. And El Death Seeks to do it without raising a sword. Without bringing into direct conflict. Because ultimately for El Death to, or ultimately I, I agree, is that to, if you were to raise a sword to a sword, then all you're going to do is bring more conflict. The, the best way is to put down your swords, to, or at least to act act outside of the sword, to negotiate, perhaps to um, to talk. Talking is a wonderful act of peace. Now, heated debate is an obvious uh, aspect, but that's still better than direct conflict. Ah, but if by striking off the head of the person who's causing the suffering, I can bring a lack of suffering to all the people they were harming, surely I have, by raising my blade, made everything more peaceful. But what have you done to the people that were following the person you killed? You've raised their emotions, you've raised their anger, and they will still bring forth their own rage on towards you and the people that were also being in conflict. That why that one act of chopping off the head does not actually solve the ultimate problem. Which is that some people are dickheads. But you've answered my question, so thank you. Glad to have been of service. And I'm slightly moved. <laughs> And you can hear the the very loud bangs of Krusk's boots. Just it's you know it's Krusk. Yeah, you, like he's, he's billowing his cape. <laughs> That's how you know it's Krusk. Yeah. He's always billowing. <laughs> yeah, like you, the the cape does not allow itself to billow other than any means, but dramatically. <laughs> and if that means to have a gust for it to billow, then it will ensure that there is like such a gust, and you can feel it. And it's like, oh no, or at least how you feel of crust entering the room. It's just, it is a bit I, like what I'll do is like know, I'll take like a breath as if to shout and like raise my arm, but then I'll like hesitate, close my mouth, pass message instead, <laughs> and be like, uh, Dardy, if you're uh, if you're done here. Oh, it's you are tempted. Hope you don't just bellow down the way. <laughs> I was very tempted, but uh, Froridan, we're all outside. You everything okay here? Froridan's asking to have a group meeting. Apparently, he's just got some stuff. Oh, I want to talk to the Helm Priest, but I can guess I can talk to the Helm Priest later. Yeah, it seems like Froridan's found out something big. Also, don't Achoo. mention the, any wizards to Froridan. What? Just, just if he asked, if she was just, if she was just, it was unrelated reasons. <laughs> <laughs> is the helm priest still lurky? Or is there's plenty there? around. There's probably a different one that is probably near you now. Ah, uh, well, what? she said she wanted to talk to the helm priest before, so she if they were still lurking, she was going to be. Oh, I'll have to talk to you later and then leave. But if they just bugged off, then she'll just leave. Yeah, yeah. That helm priest is definitely it's helping someone bad. else and found another task instead. So you leave, and you're all together again. As a, we no longer split. Well, at least, at least you weren't in trouble. That's 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 reassuring. Well, I mean, it's a temple full of folk. Like, they'd have a job to stick a bag over my head. I mean, they could always lure you away into the well, that's behind the church or something, because there's a wall behind it. You know, so there is like a gap behind. Maybe you know, call and kidnap me. Indeed, yeah. I mean, yeah. Wait, Dolori, 
How much have you thought about that? I haven't even thought about yeah. the fact there's a wall behind the chicken. I mean, you know, when you're living by on your own in a town as a young woman, you think you about... You about people luring you into dark corners. Indeed, indeed, you need to know which areas you can and cannot go. Makes sense, to be fair. The time I used to be the one luring people into dark corners, so I guess I never thought about that. <laughs> Fuck. You never thought about it from the other side. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Surely it does only you know about all the dark corners so that you can lure people into them. I just kind of pick one. I don't really think about it too far into it. I'm just there, you spot one, then you move on. Yeah, that looks good, yeah. I tend to just shout into them and see if anybody needs help. Yes, well done, Krask. I didn't hear any shouting from you. I'm very proud. Ah, oh, yes. I uh, I was about to shout and then I just thought, what would this person say? And then I would shout. say, shut up, Krask. Why are you yelling? <laughs> That's exactly yes. what she would say. <laughs> yes, I would. What have you found out then, Thorin? We've got a lot, lot to discuss. <clears throat> so. Shall we go and discuss it somewhere that isn't lived in the street then? Yeah, somewhere maybe very we private. Our, maybe we should. Our super let's, special house. Which is totally let's go into the house. Let's go into the house. Let's go into the super special house people, where we're not being People will kill for this. Little, 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 little. For the information that you've got. Yeah. Ooh. It's okay. pricey. You guys owe me. How how much? Is... A, f a favor. <laughs> how, how about how about, <laughs> how about Thorin? I bake you some of my special cookies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that would do. <laughs> that would do. Look at Salar and be like, you you lo looked into sweet treats. You're making cookies. Yes. Yes. Yes, yeah, so we can make cookies later. What's a favour for you, Tulari, or for Ferdin? <laughs> I'm not sure. Just put <laughs> a mouth to Tulari. Show me the recipe later, okay? <laughs> sure, sure, sure. I mean, you can watch me make them. You see, you see what I'm putting into it. How about I take you for a ride on town around Ferdin? We can do like a city flyby. I thought you were supposed to be being yeah. subtle with your ginormous dragon. With my with my what, sorry? With your ginormous dragon. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's other people who, who can summon dragons. Of course, I've never met anyone else who can summon dragons. <laughs> yes, no, I've not met anyone who's summoning dragons either, so let's maybe just bring no, it no, down sorry. a notch. You're going to think of a different favour. I know you wanted to go on the dragon ride. <laughs> you can do the dragon ride later when we're not, you know, in the middle of covert mission. Yeah, yep, we, can yep, work, we can good. work it out later. What's the thing, though, I did? Yeah. I once had to talk to the Helm Priest about people poking holes in the fabric of reality. People people do that? Yeah. That's a thing you can do? Yes! I don't even know what that means. It's when they make the teleporting circles and then they go to hell and back and it pokes holes in the fabric of reality. That Does it? I thought, that, I thought that was just... I thought that was just normal... Yeah, I thought that was magic. just normal. Saying, is, is reality in trouble? I mean, I guess technically, you know, Nadia's not wrong here. They are technically Wait, poking holes in the in the reality. I mean, poking holes sounds circles. very negative. Is this like a okay accepted thing, or is this like a oh no? Or is it, or, or is it, or is it like cheese? You know that that's okay to have holes. Well, if you have too many holes in the reality cheese, is not cheese. Does it stop it's gonna break. A, stop being, it does stop being cheese. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. hmm. Is that what's yeah. happening? Okay, we have a lot of things to discuss. We need bigger cheese. Reality is not a cheese. We need more <laughs> conversation. Okay, let's let's focus on one thing or at a time, okay? Throw like it in. And plug the holes with more cheese. Okay, Krask. Krask. Put another cheese time. on top of it. <laughs> time, well, time. You shut up about cheese. Throw <laughs> it in. <laughs> Make me hungry. You go first. You tell us everything you found <laughs> out. After that... Nadia, you can tell us your worries. After that, I think we need more discussion about the cheese because, again, great ingredient apparently. So we need to think about that. Mm. But let's start you with Thoradin. Whole, holy cheese out. Yeah, you need to do something about it. So just Thoradin first. Um, sorry, just, just what the cheese. fuck did you find out? So next time on the Ascendant Lands, what? Well, how well? How will everyone react to Thoradin's revelations, as it's so described? Will Thoradin react nicely to his own revelations of what Aragorn has gone through, if it's discussed? 
<laughs> we shall find out next time on the Ascendant Lands. <laughs> <laughs>